This problem says the figure above shows the graph of the functions f and g. If h of x is equal to f of x times g of x, then h prime of 2 is equal to what? Well, notice that h of x is defined as the product of two functions, the product of f times g. So I'm going to first find the derivative of h of x using the product rule. So that makes h prime of x is equal to the derivative of the first, so that's f prime of x, times the second, times g of x, plus the derivative of the second, g prime of x, times the first, f of x. So this is my h prime of x, but the problem wants me to find h prime of 2. So next, I will substitute a 2 for everywhere I see x in the problem. So that's h prime of 2 is equal to f prime of 2 times g of 2 plus g prime of 2 times f of 2. All right, so now how do we find each one of these pieces? Well, f prime of 2 means the derivative when x the derivative of f when x is equal to 2. Well, when x is equal to 2, f is a straight line. So the derivative is equal to the slope at any point. Well, that's equal to the slope of this line. So at 2, if we find the slope of the line using rise over run, if we go up 1, we go right 2. So that would be a slope of positive 1 over 2. That's my f prime of 2. I'm going to multiply that by g of 2. So here's my g of x. If I go to x is equal to 2, g of x is equal to 1. So I'll substitute 1 for g of 2. And then plus g prime of 2 is the slope of this line because, again, g is a line just like f is. So this will be the slope of the line when x is equal to 2. So at 2, g goes we go down 2, right 1, that would be negative 2 over 1, or negative 2, times f of 2. So for f, this looks like 1, 2, 3, positive 3 for f. Okay, so here we can simplify. 1 half times 1 is 1 half. Negative 2 over 1, or negative 2 times 3, is negative 6. And then if we find a common denominator, that would be 1 over 2 minus 12 over 2 makes negative 11 over 2. And that would be the final answer. Okay, so I hope this step-by-step -step solution was helpful for you. If it was, please leave me a like and feel free to leave any comment if you have a question or if you have another problem that you would like to see worked out. Um, I also have my email in the description that you can send me an email with a particular problem if it's difficult to write in the comments, such as a graphical one like this one. Thanks for watching and happy studies.